Good morning, dear students. Today we shall begin with the third chapter of economics, and the name of the chapter is money and credit. In this chapter, we will study about money as a medium of exchange, modern forms of money, loan activities of banks, two different credit situations, terms of credit, formal sector credit in India, and self-help groups for the poor. So today we shall study about the first two bullets. Money as medium of exchange. In primitive times, goods were exchanged for goods. In a village community, cobbler would make shoes in return for wheat from the farmers. A farmer would get grains as a reward for his labor and so on. This system of exchange was known as barter system. But with the multiplicity of wants and greater need for exchange, barter system proved to be an inefficient system of exchange so before the concept of money was introduced people used to exchange goods for the goods uh, they required suppose uh, if a cobbler uh, is there so a cobbler used to make uh, a shoe and he used to exchange that shoe for whatever he required uh, he uh, could have exchanged it with a potter for certain pottery item. He could have uh, exchanged it with farmer to get food grains, etc. So this system where goods were exchanged, uh, that system is known as barter system. But uh, afterwards, when uh, the desire of people started increasing and they uh, started having greater amount of wants in that situation it was very difficult to exchange uh, the goods uh, and that is why uh, barter system proved to be inefficient after a certain point of time it is then that the men invented money a thing that was commonly accepted as medium of exchange Initially, metal coins of gold and silver were introduced and subsequently alloy metal came to be used for coinage besides the introduction of paper money. And now is the age of plastic money in the form of debit and credit cards. Thus, money finds its origin in the need to facilitate exchange. So once barter system uh, was having a lot of uh, problem and people identified it, after that money was invented. Money uh, is something that is accepted as a medium of exchange. Now people were no longer required to exchange goods for the goods that they required. They could have uh, simply, uh, you know, sell their commodity, get certain amount of money and they can now uh, spend that money in order to uh, get something else. So initially various uh, precious metals were used for exchange. After that uh, it was transformed in the form of coin. And then uh, when people started running short of uh, precious metals like gold and silver, they started making alloy coins. And after that Paper money was also introduced and presently plastic money is very dominant in our uh, economy. Various debit and credit cards are used by people. So the purpose of money is to facilitate exchange. Now there were certain drawbacks of the barter system and that is why money was introduced. So the first drawback is difficulty of double coincidence of wants. Barter system had this very important requirement of uh, double coincidence of want. Double coincidence uh, of wants implies that the goods that two different individuals are possessing are useful and needed by each other. But uh, many a times people started facing problem. 
For example, if a cobbler is making shoes and he wants to exchange it for grains, but the farmer is not willing to take shoes in exchange of his grains because uh, he would probably like to purchase pottery item. So that was one problem. The two individuals were supposed to need what the other person is having. And uh, this was one of the prominent drawback of barter system. The second drawback is lack of a common unit of value. Nowadays, if someone asks you uh, the value of uh, any commodity, suppose your video game, then you will be able to tell them that it is of 500 rupees or 1000 rupees. But when money was not existing, it was very difficult to determine the value of one particular commodity. Uh, uh, during barter system, the value of that video game uh, was supposed to be calculated in terms of various other items like in terms of grains, in terms of uh, cattle, etc. And this was a very big problem. The third drawback is lack of a system of payment. Suppose you hire a worker and uh, you agree that you will be paying that worker rupees 5000 per month, okay, in today's time. But in earlier time, it was very difficult to determine uh, the work of that particular worker in terms of various items such as uh, food grains or furniture or pottery or anything. The last drawback is lack of a system for storage of value. Now all those commodities that earlier people used to uh, make, it was not very durable. They ultimately had to perish and as a result People were not able to have savings because money was not existing during that time and uh, only for a certain period of time grains or uh, pottery can, uh, you know, it can be stored. So that is why this was one of the prominent drawback. Now, meaning and definition of money. The term money has been derived from the Latin word moneta, which is another name of goddess Juno of Rome. So uh, money has been derived from the name of a goddess of Rome and money refers to anything that performs the four basic functions. That is it serves as a medium of exchange, it serves as a standard unit of value, it serves as a means of payment and it serves as a store of value. Now uh, as a common saying goes, money is what money does. So the functions of money is the meaning of money itself. Okay, now the most important function of money is that it serves as a medium of exchange. Now, uh, double coincidence of wants was not required. People could easily take a particular commodity and pay in terms of money. Okay, now the second one is standard unit of value. Now, Every commodity can be valued in terms of rupees. So, rupees or money are a standard unit of value. It uh, serves as a means of payment. Now, uh, payment can be done in terms of money. And the last one is it acts as a store of value. Whenever uh, money is in excess, we nowadays go and deposit it in the bank so it is a store of value money can be stored but in earlier time those goods were stored only for a limited period of time now legally money is anything proclaimed by the law as medium of 
exchange so all those commodities that have been proclaimed by law that has been said by the law that it will act as a medium of exchange all those commodities are money okay now money can be your coins your uh, paper notes and various other forms are there so the next uh, topic is modern forms of money whatever uh, form of money that we are able to see nowadays that comes in modern form of money so the first one is currency in india paper notes and coins are issued by the reserve bank of india and are legally tendered in india that is no one can refuse payment made uh, through these rbi issues paper notes of denominations of rupees 5 10 20 50 100 500 and 2000 coins of rupees 1 and 1 rupee notes all the coins and 1 rupee notes are issued by government of india however circulation of entire currency including coins and 1 rupee note is done by rbi so currency is uh, what we call as cash uh, so all the paper notes except 1 rupee note is issued by the reserve bank of india the government of india uh, on the other hand issues all the coins and 1 rupee note only but rbi is responsible for the entire circulation of money in the economy okay the next form of money is demand deposits people keep their surplus cash with the bank they can withdraw this money as per their requirement such demands are called demand deposits banks also provide the facility of withdrawal and payment through checks now demand deposits are all those uh, deposits that are made with the banks and that the a uh, customer can demand any time those are known as demand deposits now the one of the, uh, the most common ways of withdrawal and payment is through checks so a check is a paper instructing the bank to pay a specific amount from the person's account to the person in whose name the check has been issued check is a convenient mode of payment as one does not have to carry cash for example a student can pay their school fees through check we can pay telephone bills electricity bills etc through check so a check is a paper through which the person who is the account holder that person asks uh, its bank to pay a particular person a certain amount that has been specified in that check okay now that uh, check can be used to make any kind of payments and since people do not have to carry cash it is the most convenient method of payment so over here you can see uh, this is uh, a check there are always three parties that are involved uh, in a check the first one is the drawer the one who will be uh, writing this check who is the owner of a bank account that is known as a drawer the second is the drawee who is the bank who will be making the payment on behalf of the drawer okay and the third one is the payee the person to whom this check has been given okay now there are various elements that you can see over here the first one is your uh, after pay you are supposed to write the 
name of the person after that in the rupees column you're supposed to write the amount in words and the smaller box with rupees sign as you can see uh, towards your right that box is for the amount in numbers below that you have got your account number it will be reflected in the check already printed and uh, right hand side the last part is for the signature of the account holder the name of the account holder is already mentioned and uh, the left hand side uh, you can see the last part there is certain number written in inverted commas that is the check number and at the top the address of the bank branch and its IFSC code and everything is already printed uh, the drawer is supposed to write the date towards the right in the boxes so the third um, modern method of uh, payment is credit card credit card can be used as a substitute of cash and check it is also known as plastic money as it is made of plastic the card holder only needs to be present uh, uh, only needs to present the card at cash counter while shopping paying hospital bills etc so a credit card as you all must have seen that it is uh, made up of plastic and that is why it is known as plastic money the most important characteristic of credit card is that the holder of the credit card first spends the money and then pays it to the bank it is just the opposite of debit card debit card is the card uh, you know that uh, is used to make payment against the deposit whatever is present in the bank but credit card is used to make the payment first and then the account holder pays the amount afterwards to the bank so that is it today we have studied about the evolution of money initially goods were exchanged after that precious metals were exchanged then came the metal coins after that came paper money then plastic money and now we have got electronic money through internet banking we can transfer money and we can make payments through uh, you know uh, the apps itself and the last one is cryptocurrency this is the modern form the latest form of money that we can see uh, in the economy so these are the following assignment questions the first question is how does the use of money make it easier to exchange things the second question is salim wants to withdraw rupees 20000 in cash for making payment how would he write a check to withdraw money why are demand deposits considered as money so you need to think over all these questions you need to try to attempt to answer if there is any problem we can discuss it in the online class so that is it for today thank you